Hey everybody, Adam from Habitat here uh, to talk about your furnace and routine maintenance. So this is the main workhorse of the house that does all the heating and cooling and some ventilation. Um, you have, this duct is where all the air comes into the furnace. So that's pulling from all the bedrooms, the living room and the kitchen, pulling the old air down into the furnace through a filter into the actual heating unit and then being distributed up here throughout the house. Uh, in this case, it also has an air conditioner unit on the front and the top end. Works the same way. The old air comes in here, gets filtered, gets cooled, and then gets up and distributed to the rooms. The most important piece of routine maintenance on this is keeping your furnace filter exchanged and cleaned. In this case, that's down here. It just pulls out very simply, as long as you're not ham-fisted like me. Oh, look at that. We're actually going to exchange this now because I bunged it up pretty bad. But um, you can see that it has air flow written on there. The air is flowing through this duct, through the filter, and then into the here. You always want to make sure your filter arrows are pointed at the furnace. The arrows say airflow, and you want to make sure that any of that dust is always caught on the same side of the filter before it passes into the furnace. If I were to turn this around and now put it in the furnace, it's going to pull the dust that we've already collected into the furnace and kind of make it useless. Also, usually these are reinforced on one side so that it can withstand the pressure of the air flowing through the filter. Most filters are uh, designed for either 30, 60, or 90 days. Um, and uh, they'll have different ratings on them for uh, how much a particulate it can uh, uh, capture, as well as the date it was installed, in this case just a few days ago, and the filter size. So when you're going to shop for replacements filters, make sure you know this filter size, because uh, every hardware store aisle, you'll think you remember the size and you get there, and there's a 16 by 20 by one, there's a 20 by 20 by one, there are all these different sizes and it's really easy to get confused. So I either like to take the existing filter with me or take a little snapshot of the size, uh, take a picture with my smartphone so I remember, you can make that remember for me. In this case, for a replacement filter, uh, this one is, has a, a MERV rating of seven. So it's a little better than the standard and it captures a few more allergens, in this case, dust, lint, um, mites, debris, pollen, pet dander, bacteria. As you get up in higher numbers, they cost a bit more, but they also catch more. Uh, so if you have people who have uh, sensitive lungs or lung allergies, uh, higher the number can be helpful in uh, um, more comfort in the home. The only thing is those thicker filters, also in, the, in that they catch more, they have more um, resistance. So you, want, you might have to change them more often so that you don't bog down the furnace. In replacing it, you take it out, make sure that you have the airflow pointed at the furnace. Uh, in this case, let's see if there's, sometimes they'll have a place to write the date. Here we go. In this case it says, recommended change, 90 days. So today is the 15th of December. We're gonna say, the 15th of March. And that's when it will be time to change this again. Sometimes when your home is brand new, it's uh, better, to buy, to better to change it a little more often. You'll be catching some leftover construction dust and drywall dust, and it's better to get that out and just toss it instead of uh, clogging up your furnace. Then you put it in with the arrow facing the furnace, and it's set to go. Just make sure that you're doing all this work while the furnace is not blowing. You don't want to take that out and, and risk getting any dust into the furnace. So if it's heating season and your furnace is on, turn it off at the breaker, exchange the filter, then turn it back on and resume being cozy.